Yay, we're live. Hey, everybody. Okay. Well, I'm here. Al is here. We're, we're trying to see if you're here. And if you're watching this later, let's know that you're here. <laughs> post, post down below. And if you're new to the live, um, we'd like you to get on StreamYard. There's a link on the announcement on the, in the Facebook group. So you can link, click on that and you can sign up with StreamYard. And so we can see your name. It just helps, helps us to know who you are. And if we're going to engage with you, then we'd like to know who you're talking to. So for some reason, you don't want to get on there. Hey, Maria. If you don't want to be on, uh, get on StreamYard, just put your name in there if you post. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, hi, everybody. All right. So glad you all could join us. I, we were thinking about what to talk about this morning. I was talk, telling Al about it. And he kind of wanted to recap, like, uh, if we can do it quickly. I don't know if we can do it quickly. Like, we're, how we started and where we're at right now. Because you guys know that on, by December 6th, it will be four months. Just four months. Like, unreal. Like, four months. <clears throat> four months, and we're launching a membership group. Now we are piggybacking it on our my old pre, uh, group, Soft Soul Authority. So, but still it's, 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 it's going to be similar, but different. It's just going to kind of, we're going to add on to Soul Authority. So hi, Ed and hi, whoever Facebook user. Sorry, I don't know your name. If you want to put your name in there, I can't call you out, but uh, hi, everybody. Let's say hi, Ed and Tammy. I'm going to put everybody's name up here. And Maria and Sandy. Okay. See, you didn't know I was going to like, like call you out. Oh, uh, hold on. I got to hide you. All right. So, so we're going to, we're going to kind of recap, Ellen said, if that's possible. So really quickly, I guess the Cliff Notes version. So Alan passed away August 6th on his birthday and the, the death certificate says Alzheimer's. They do that with everybody has dementia, apparently. So <clears throat> but I don't think, whatever, he, he had dementia. He died from having, having broken his hip and, and getting surgery. And that kind of sent him to a spiral. But he's saying to me right now, that was his opportunity to, <clears throat> to exit. So he, he knew at some point that he was gonna, he was gonna fall, that he was going to injure himself. And he, he already had it planned out. But at the time that was all happening, he was manic with his dementia and he was up all the time and, and he wouldn't sleep and he was just walking around the house. And that night that he hurt himself, I couldn't step any longer. I just fell asleep in, in, another, in another room because he, he was running around, running around our bedroom and, and I just, it was crazy. So, so I, I fell asleep in another room, but I got up like I think only two hours after that, because I want to check on him. So when I checked on him, he was lying on the floor and he was he was in pain and I knew I had to call the ambulance. So that set up a whole chain of events that ended up with him going into a care home for about 10 days, because I didn't think I could handle him. But he says I could, I wouldn't have been able to. He was really out of it, but he was also very like restless. So he says like, he, he knows I did what I needed to do and he's glad I did. But while he was there, he knew that he was going to exit. He knew. I didn't know, but he knew. So luckily, the caregiver actually said to me, she says, I think you might want to get an assessment with hospice because he's not eating. And, and she was familiar with, with patients with dementia. She'd handled them quite a lot. And so based on her recommendation, I called this hospice group. And they, came, they were wonderful, uh, the ones that she recommended. And they assessed him and said, yes, he's the doc, hospice doctor said he's the candidate for hospice. So, uh, but I couldn't take him home right away because there was a hurricane like that weekend. Like that was a Thursday he was qualified for hospice. This hurricane was coming on a Saturday. And I knew that he wouldn't really be safe with me by myself if anything should happen. So I felt comfortable leaving him with her because she had a husband and she had, you know, all the equipment. She could, she could deal with it. She was totally like, oh, I can handle it. Don't worry about us. And, and so he stayed there for that weekend, but he had already been signaling to me 
that he wanted to come home. In fact, one, one morning I had woken up early, like at four o'clock in the morning, laying in bed because I was trying to figure out what to do with him. Like, is he going to need long-term care? Is, is he g- going to come home? I mean, I mean, what do I do? And, and I, was, I was just frantic, like how to take care of him and what was going to happen. But he made this smoke detector in my bedroom go off. Like all of a sudden I hear this, this blaring alarm. I think, what the heck is that? I couldn't figure out what it was. And then finally I realized it was the smoke detector. And, and I, I couldn't, I didn't have anything to get up there and turn it off. And when I finally realized it was a smoke detector, and then all of a sudden it just turned off. It turned off itself. And I thought, well, that's weird. And it dawned on me that it was him. And when I asked, I forget who I asked, because there were a couple of people I was talking to who were both really tuned into him, who could read him, because I was too emotional. If you're emotionally invested, if you're distraught, you cannot read clearly. Okay, that, that's just a given. So I've done readings for people who were very psychic, who lost a loved one, and they can't pick up on the loved one because they're in grief. So, so I was just out of it. And, and they said to me, no, he wants to come home. He's afraid to go to sleep because he's afraid he's not going to get up. And he wants to f- pass away at home with you. And, and one friend said, she, she said, literally, she said to me, he's saying to me, I want to breathe the air that she breathes. And I started crying. I said, oh, my God, like, I have to bring him home. And, but I had to get prepared to receive him in the house. I, had, I didn't have sheets. I didn't have certain things. And so the scramble to do all that, he, he did finally get home. And I remember the, the driver, because they hire these people who, who transport them. And the driver said, said he really wants to be home. He, I guess he was really restless in the, in the van. And the guy said, oh, he really wants to get home. And, and he was moving around a lot. The guy said, really, really, and he was, looked like that when he was coming out, pulling him out of the transport. And, but once he got in the house, once he got in the, the hospital bed that was set up for him, he just, he just like relaxed. And my friends who were, t- again, tuning into him said, he's breathing a sigh of relief. He knows now that he's with you. That's all they wanted to be was with you. And he's, he's good. Yeah, right. So, so I felt, I was relieved, but. I said to take care of him and he he came home on a Friday and he passed the following Thursday. And so it was really quick. He's saying now that, <clears throat> that every, he's, he, cause I felt really bad about putting him in the care home. And he's telling me, he's told me all the time. He says, you had to do that, Pam. He says, you, you would have had a nervous breakdown because he had been really restless and he, he needed medication, which we hadn't been able to get him long story. But finally, when he got here, because he passed here in this house, uh, he he was at peace and and he only really came alert, I think, one time, and and I really couldn't talk to him. He he was he was not here, and I know that now that he was on the other side a lot. And he says that he was visiting heaven a lot. He was given a tour, because they give you a tour apparently, like here's heaven, here's your new home. And, and he was quite happy with what he saw. So he knew that that was where he was going. Of course, he was concerned about me. Our loved ones are concerned about us. But once they get there, the, the experience is so amazing that they, quite honest, they kind of forget. On, on top of that, well, not really forget. He says forget's not the right word. He says, he says they're, they're at peace about it because, because it's so amazing there. And they know that's, their, that's our true home. So why wouldn't you feel amazing? So he he got there, but, and he quickly went through his review. And I want to address this because somebody, somebody asked this question in, um, when they, they joined the, the group, I asked questions like, what is your burning question to know about supernatural love? And somebody wanted to know like, what happens when you cross over is, you know, like, like, do you, I forget how they put it, but I'll have to go look up the question. But well, he wants to talk about that. So as soon as he got there, he immediately did his life review. You review your life. You look at everything that you did. And, and he actually was pleased that he, he did accomplish his basic goal, which was to do readings and help the people that he helped. 
we he he says though he wasn't really here to work hard as you may have heard in my interview with Swati when she did the past life regression on him that came up this life was supposed to have been like a vacation the early part of his life had been really hard because he'd grown up during world war ii as a child so he basically had ptsd and i recognized that pretty quickly that that he he had a lot of unprocessed grief and anxiety. So, <clears throat> so it wasn't like the vacation was the first part of his life, but when he met me, he's saying like, yeah, that was when the vacation started. And, and it caused me some frustration because I wanted us to work together. I wanted to do things you know, together, sp spiritually at least, like take classes or, and he was not interested at all. He in fact would, Poo, poo it like oh I already know that and he's telling me that because I used to say how can you already know that you can't know everything but he'd say no I already know that and now he's saying Pam I did already know that you didn't believe me I did already know that and I didn't come here for that but he came along with me to these classes and workshops because because he loved me and he said he wanted to be with me he never wanted to like not be with me so so he would come and I would teach a class and he would he would be there cheering me on because he always believed in me. And, and then I would get him to share something of his experiences, which he loved because he did like to, to share. He did like to be social, but he didn't want the pressure of teaching a class. So he loved it if I was teaching and he got to just chime in when he wanted to. That was his favorite, except that I'd have to tell him, all right, that's enough, Alan. I have to teach the material. I like, uh, uh, you're cut off, cut off, you're, you're done because he keep telling his stories and people loved his stories of his life of his how he opened up and all of his experiences with the other side and he's saying he's telling me now i prepared to still tell them oh no no please i don't hear them. okay maybe later honey but he had a lot of he had a lot of good stories and 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 so so he he's saying now though that what he's doing right now this is what he is here for he, he went to the other side and he saw his life review, realized that we had made a soul agreement at our pre-birth planning table, which we'll talk about in the book. I saw us at the table too. I saw what we had agreed to. I saw how we had agreed to actually hurt each other. This is what we all do in our pre-birth uh, session. We actually do sit down with people that we're going to incarnate with and make agreements as to who's going to be there or not be there for people who is even going to possibly hurt us like emotionally because that's a given that's that's something that we all are choosing to experience so so we i saw the pre-birth planning because he kind of told me to go like look at it and i didn't see the whole thing because i was got overwhelmed but he says i can go back anytime and i'll look at it fully when i write it I mean, I literally started to write it because uh, he told me, sit down and write it. And I started writing it and I saw it like a movie. So I wrote it as I saw it. And, but when the life review, that was like, of course, after he lived his life and he, he saw everything and he realized that we had an, an agreement to continue to work together and be in a relationship. And that we literally had made this agreement that we would do all that we could to merge heaven and earth, uh, me being earth and he being heaven, and to demonstrate that it was possible to be in a relationship with somebody on the other side, not, not in a just casual way, because some people are, are just connecting, like visiting or just, you know, just communing with them. He says, but no, in a full relationship way, in, in all ways, <clears throat> like, like a full marriage, except he doesn't have a body. But everything else imaginable, everything else in terms of companionship, in terms of intimacy, in terms of collaboration, you know, in our case, working together, and not that everybody's gonna work together, but that was our agreement. <clears throat> and he explained to me that that this was this was the job we'd taken on, and then Swati had confirmed that to us too. And I was overwhelmed. There were things that he shared with me and also just she confirmed other things that I was like, what? Like what you guys are telling me? And cause he, he would talk to her uh, about it. 
before she knew about it. So, uh, so he came back from the other side and said, Pam, we're supposed to be together. And I'm, I'm there like in shock, like you just left, like, what are you talking about? And, and I couldn't be sure he really was here, but I had so many people confirming that he had, and he says that he set it all up that way. He set it up that I would share our life together on my private Facebook page and all our photos, because I knew he'd, he'd love to see them. I knew that even if he was in the care home and out of it with dementia, I knew that his soul, his spirit could would see all that. I, I knew that. And he said he was watching all that and he loved it. But he had a higher purpose for it. He knew that if people saw our story, because our friends, clients, contacts, who are my friends and his friends too, that they would be drawn in to, to the story. Okay, this wasn't a manipulation. He says, he's saying this is all planned. If you're in the group, you agreed to be in this group before you incarnated. And every person who ends up in this group, same thing, because there are no accidents. And those of you who feel drawn in, uh, specifically, because not all of you will, and that's fine. It's all perfect. We're not saying everybody who comes in the group is, say, going to be in our academy or going to have a reading. It has, nothing, it has nothing to do with it. But the people who feel really drawn in and feel you're going, they're going to feel their soul kind of calling them, like like they can't, they can't stop themselves almost. Uh, yeah, our our message or whatever we're doing, it's 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 your thing too. Okay, that's how you know. That's how you know about anything anything experienced in life. You just know because you go, oh, I, I, I have to find out more about this. Like, what is this? Something about this is calling me. So, so Alan knew that if I shared our story, just, just honestly, okay, just from the heart, now totally vulnerable, I, I cannot do anything else. I can't like cover it, mask it or make it prettier than it is. I don't see the point at all. Not in this time of election fraud lies and whatever, all the other uh, lies were being told. No, this is the time when everybody out there should come clean and be honest and truthful and just share from their heart and say, this is who I am, take it or leave it. You know, love me or hate me, nothing in the middle. You, you're either on our side or you don't understand and we love you, goodbye, God bless, but you're not, on, nobody on the fence anymore. So, so he knew that if I shared our story, from her heart, and it was also a way for me to process my grief, that that people would be drawn to it. And then when he came through from the other side, then it really got interesting. And then many of you watching, that, many of you who in the, joined the Academy, especially right away, or the ones who really were there from the beginning and knew that this was real. Because again, I wasn't, you know, polishing up the story. I wasn't making it look pretty. I was saying, this is what's going on and, and I don't know what's happening and or I'm having a hard time or I'm confused or whatever. And, and I'll still tell you that if that's what's happening for me. So so those of you were, who were fascinated by it, we invited to, to join a group, this group you're in now. It was Alan's idea for me to create that group. Well, he's given me every idea related to supernatural love. He gave me the title supernatural love. It just came into my mind. I didn't even have to try thinking of what the title of the book was. I go, oh, supernatural love. It's like it just was obvious. And he says, obvious? I gave that name to you. <laughs> like I gave you almost everything else and I'll continue to give you everything else. So he gave me that and I said, well, that makes sense. And and immediately, of course, I thought, well, I wonder if I can get that domain. I probably can't. Come on, supernatural love. Somebody's got to have bought the domain for that. So I go looking and guess what? It was for sale. I had to pay a chunk of money, not, not huge, but I had to pay money for it, but it was available. And as, as somebody told me later, they said, well, of course it was available. You guys are supposed to write this book. You guys are supposed to do this thing. Why would you doubt that it would be available? So I bought it. It's, it's sitting in, in the, there for us to, to build a new website on but we got that domain. And then Alan again said, create the group. And he wanted to share more in the group because he knew that we couldn't keep doing that in my personal page. That wasn't gonna really work. And that in a group, you could have more 
intimacy and, and engagement as opposed to a, a page that's for, for everybody. So, so that's what we did. And then, and then as <clears throat> we continue, and uh, okay, so he wants to remind me to tell you that the group that you're in, it only got started a week after he crossed over. Seven days after he'd crossed over, he said to me, form a group. And it, I, I mean, really, it's, all these things were happening so fast. And I was posting so many things because he'd wake me up and he'd want me to write. And, and I think some of you remember that, those days. You, you, some of you were saying, you'd wake up and say, okay, what's the next chapter? <laughs> because so many things were happening fast and furious. And he would just have me writing, writing, writing. And, and so I'd do that. And, and I was hardly getting any sleep. I was sleeping maybe two hours a night, but yet I was energized because he was carrying me with me. It was no doubt in my mind that something phenomenal was happening because it was just too strange. And then he started putting songs in my mind that, that come out of nowhere and go, why am I hearing this song? And I knew he wanted me to find that song and listen to it. And then I started a playlist and you guys are, at this point, many of you are, you know, have taken on that that playlist right on Spotify and on YouTube. Those are all songs that either he or I uh, chose for each other. Mostly it's him. Mostly some are from for me from me, and and he's used music to open me up emotionally because that was his first thing. He knew he had to open me up my heart because I had to be more sensitive so I could have a relationship with him, so that I could feel him. So what happened? right now is I feel him very deeply and I know he's here. If for some reason I would never be able to see him and he's laughing, he's saying, I told you you're going to see me. And I said, I know, I know because he's promised me and he, he doesn't make promises he doesn't keep. But he said, even if I did, if I didn't see him, I would know he's here. I can't explain it to you. I just feel him around me and and he says that sense that I have of him is only getting stronger with each day. So I I don't feel weird talking to myself, you know, wherever I am or in my head talking to him uh, at all. It used to, it takes time to get used to that. I know he's here. And then you guys in this group have have made it even easier for me to accept that he's real because you've had experiences of him. You've seen him, uh, or or your loved ones have seen seen him, or he's appeared in your home. I've talked to a, several of you who said, "Yeah, I thought I saw Alan in my house," <laughs> and he's nodding. You said, "He goes, yes, I go visiting you guys a lot. Some of you see me, some of you don't, because <laughs> he does that." And and then when Swati came through and told me he could do the things he was doing because he was healing people. He was just doing all these things that I, I thought, well, do all deceased people on your side do that? And she said, she, I think she finally got frustrated. She said, well, he's an archangel. <laughs> and so are you. I was like, what? Like, what? What are you talking about? <clears throat> this, is, this was news to me. And he hadn't told me. And he's laughing right now <laughs> at me, like hysterically. He's laughing. He said, Pam, didn't you know that you and I had a special mission together? I said, well, I thought it was going to be when you're in the body. And he said, no, it wasn't. It, it's now. <clears throat> this We're at it now. And in some ways, it's amazing. And in some ways, of course, it's really hard because I'd rather him be in a body. But, but he says, but you wouldn't want my body if I was 83 years old. And I said, yeah, because he was having a really hard time, as anybody would when they're 83. Even somebody in good shape, you're still going to struggle. There's no way around it. So he, so I, I was hit with all this. Come back. We have a contract. We're supposed to work together. Uh, Pam, you want to do readings? And I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll try. He says, because I want to work with you and we're going to have a business together and I can financially support you by being a partner with you. So, okay. And, and I said yes to that. And we did our first reading which was really funny, <laughs> but he came through so strongly. I knew he was there. And then he's told me to just post an announcement in this Facebook group that we were doing readings. And 17 of you signed up like right off the bat within six hours or so. And within two and a half weeks, we had 57 
readings booked. And by the end of it, we have done over a hundred sessions. If we include the group sessions, it's probably more like 120 sessions or, or readings with people. And that's within four months, within four months. And <clears throat> within the four months, we will have launched our membership, which we're talking about today. That is a lot of ground to cover for anybody. And, and like I said, I feel like I have some whiplash here sometimes, but I have never been happier. I've never felt more alive, more lit up from within, more connected to Alan, more connected to God, more connected to my team. I'm not saying I don't have days where I'm, I'm kind of confused. He's saying, he's saying I'll still have them, but I bounced back faster and I, I can't find any grief anymore. To be honest, I've been looking and I, and I, and I can't promise that that won't happen again, but it's, it's just not there. I don't wish for going back to the past and I don't regret anything that I did or didn't do. And, and he no longer does that either. Cause I realized that, that whatever mistakes I made needed to be made for us both to learn the lessons that we needed to learn. So, so I've released it. It took time. You don't, you don't get to that right away. You just don't. It's taken me all this time and it's quite fast, but it's fast for me because he's been right here, literally working on me saying, saying, you know, get into your feelings, like cry, just cry, cry, cry. For whatever reason you do cry, just cry, just come to me and cry. So I'll, I'll go in bed and pull the covers over me and I'll cry to him and say, okay, I'm crying. And, and he'll take all that. And then I feel better. He says, don't you feel better? I said, yeah. He says, okay, you release it. He wants me to release all the fear, the grief, the sadness from this life and from as much as possible all my other life times because we're getting ready for ascension, folks. So it's time that you release the past and that dense weight that you're carrying. I don't mean physical weight. I mean, I mean, the emotional weight that you're carrying, the burdens you're carrying, you got to let that go if you're going to evolve and, and prepare. Even if you don't believe in ascension, I know you want a better life. You want to feel lighter. You want to feel freer. That's the secret to manifesting the life that you desire. Okay, he says, so he says, he wants to remind you that, and I've written about it in the group, that, that we're making it really easy for anybody to join us in the academy. If you, if you, for whatever reason, feel you can't afford it, you, we're, we're offering a scholarship. We're doing like a scholarship thing. It's not really, well, it's kind of a contest, I guess, where we're asking you to just share openly, like why you feel you need or want to be in the academy and how you feel we could help you. Not that you have to believe it, but how you think like, I think you could help me because I've seen this, or I think you could help me with this, or just share from your heart why you would like to be in the academy and we're going to choose like three people well he, he says he's going to choose oh could we feel and this is all going to be intuitive it's not going to be evaluating based on what you say he says he's going to tune in and say you know who are the three people who really i don't know if the word is need but he says are will make best use of being in the academy because it's not just based on need because if you just took the neediest person, that neediest person may not take what we have to offer and really make something of it. So he says that would be a waste of everybody's time. So he's he's looking for some people who he feels would really be able to get into it and, and do something with that for themselves by, by their own um, definition, their their own, whatever their criteria might be, not, not ours. So that's one way. The other way is you can reach out to us if you if you need a scholarship for a reason. I've, we've already done that with a couple people. We're prepared to do that. I can't promise you we're going to do that each time we launch. We will relaunch this again. Not sure when, but we will relaunch and open the doors again. But we're going to close them for at least two months, maybe longer, maybe three. And we don't know at, at that point whether we'll do, we hope to do a scholarship. I would like to keep that going, but I, I can't. I can't promise, and Alan says he wants to see the, the response to the scholarship program. We are gonna take donations at some point. I, I, I mean, Ed already donated. Thank you very much, Ed. Very generous of you, your, your donation. And we'll accept that from anybody who wants to pay it forward. That, that if you can pay for your own membership and you wanna contribute to somebody else's, that's awesome because we, we want to 
we want to help you folks. We want to give you no reason to not belong unless you just don't want to belong to our membership. Okay? And, and believe me, I've taken a study internet marketing. I've taken a course on membership programs. They don't, they want you not to do what we're doing, but we're breaking the rules here because we're following, I'm following Alan and who's really following spirit or God or source and what, what the higher realms want, not, not what the human realms want. Okay. So, so we're on a different trajectory and Swati makes fun of me because she says the old me would just, would just do what I was taught uh, by my online marketing teachers and wouldn't veer from it. You know, I'd say, well, my teacher says this, but now when Alan showed up, he threw all that out the window <clears throat> and he showed me that he knew what he's talking about. So he's got the higher guidance. So I'm just following his lead. And he says, this is what we're doing. There will be a scholarship program. We don't really want to turn anybody away unless for some reason we feel like they're just not a good fit for other reasons. So we're not saying we're going to say yes to everybody. He says, we can never do that because there'll always be people, some people who are just not right for, for the group. And he will be very protective of the group for your sake, but primarily for my sake, because he's very protective toward me. Um, he says he's, 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 he's going to be like a papa bear or something is what he's saying. Like he's just going to guard that group. And if anybody's like out of line, he's going to pull them aside and say, look, look, dude, <laughs> sorry, but you got to go. <laughs> Love you very much, but uh, I think you need to move on. So he's not going to hesitate to do that, to keep the energy in the group clean. We're, and we're talking both about the, this larger group you're in, but also the academy. This is especially the academy. This larger group you're in will be a little flexible and give people the freedom to to make a few mistakes here and there, but we're not we're not going to be that rigid. But in the academy, he says standards standards are a little higher because we're giving you a lot more, and and we want to be sure everybody is getting the full benefit. And and he's going to really step up his his engagement involvement with you if you're in the academy. If you're in the larger group, he's still going to help you. He's still going to you call on him. He's still going to be there for you. Nothing has changed. But in the academy, he's just going to it's going to go up several notches and, and he's got other exercises and meditations planned that I have no clue what they are. I didn't even know what the archangel meditation was going to be. He's the one who I, I just heard it as it comes through me. I, I hear it the first time, just like you, I just channel it. And he says, that's how it'll continue to be. So, so, so the membership he said was always on his radar when he told me to do the group. And then we started doing the readings and and we're always we're always we're always headed toward the membership because he he really wants to give to help as many people as possible and you can do that in a larger format like that like a membership where you're teaching and coaching mentoring and just working with people okay so hi lisa hi, hi sherry i think i said hi zarnaz hi, hi leanne hi you guys who came in so so that I don't know if that, that takes us to where we're at, but it for me, it's been an up and down journey and I had moments of grief, really bad grief, but it'll never last more of the day. And and I just I just stuck through it and I didn't see what choice I had anyway. But there were times when I got really upset with Alan, just really angry about, you know, like, why is this happening to me? Like, we, you all have gone through that, especially if you've suffered the loss of a loved one. There, you, you're, res, you're resisting, you're in denial, you, you, you regret the, the past, you, you want it back, all that. I know what that's like. I went through all those stages and what got me through it, to be honest with you, was just his love because he kept loving me. He kept being there and, and I could feel it. And he kept opening my heart, even though I didn't want it to be open or I said, I don't want to cry anymore. Like, I'm tired of this. Like, what's this for? Like, am I just going to feel pain? And he said, no, you're going to feel me. Don't you want to feel me? And I said, well, yeah. He says, well, this is the only way, Pam. You have to feel all of life. You have to be alive. And now he's saying to me, and he's going to make me cry if I have to say this. He says, he's really proud of me because I did, I did just stick through it. And I did, I told him 
and I meant it. I said, all right, I trust you. I trust you. I believe in you. I don't know. I can't see you. I've seen you twice, but you tell me I'm going to see you all the time. All right. I believe you. I don't know when that's going to be. If you tell me that, I believe you. And he said, I'm not going to let you down. And I, he never has in the past. So, and he says, I never will now. And, and I just knew that this day would come where I just, I just accepted this new reality. And he wants to sh tell everybody who's, who's even remotely considering opening up to a loved one on the other side. He says, this can happen for everyone. He was different <clears throat> in that his ability to come through to me was greatly, I don't want to say enhanced, it was stronger because of the bond we have and because we had this sole agreement to do this work. So we had to have this, this strong, strong connection, but it still was hard for me. But he's saying that what I went through, I can teach other people how to go through this process a much easier. Plus, we're going to support them to make contact with the other side. Whether the other side is a deceased loved one or an angel or a guide, it's, it's all on the other side. It's just if you're talking about deceased loved one, we're talking about possibly, not always, possibly in terms of a personal relationship, like a romantic relationship. We're talking about having that deeper bond. It's not just say friend to friend or um, s some other relationship that's not that physical or not deeply emotional. Okay, so, but he says, but we can we can handle all of it. Like, like, what is he saying? Okay, like be the, be the, the, the teachers of, of how to connect with the spirit world and, and not, okay, and this is not necessarily just like a lecture, like, okay, this is what you do. He says, this, it's not even so much about doing, we're opening you up to being in the state of consciousness where you can make contact because it's not so much about the doing. Everybody's focused in the physical world on, well, what do I do to, to, to make contact? Like, what do I learn? What do I have to know? He says, so sure, there's some things you have to learn, some things you have to know, but really you have to have this shift in your awareness and you have to have an open heart. You have to have forgiven people in your past who've wronged you, who hurt you. You have to lighten up. You have to raise your vibration, all that. It's not, so it's not a doing thing, it's a being thing. And this is why we're gonna talk a lot about love both in this group right now and majorly in the academy. Why do you think it's called Supernatural Love Academy? Okay, love is a big part of what we're teaching. And he said, because when he came back from, yeah, from the other side, he realized that, that love was the most important thing and he just wanted to teach about love. That he knew that if you, if you really experience the love you have for yourself and others, your whole life would change. Your whole life would change. You would heal. You, you, he says a lot of you would heal your bodies like instantly. And the reason you're not is because there's, there's blockages. There's like fear, there's resentment, there's anger. You've gotten rid of some of it maybe, but he said 98% of the people on the planet still running a lot of garbage. Well, he's saying, he's saying they were garbage. That sounds kind of harsh to me, but I just got to say what he's saying. <laughs> okay, he's saying running a lot of crap. <laughs> That's not any better, Alan. But anyway, you're, you, you've got stuff going on and you know it because you know things trigger you and get you upset get you afraid get you angry get you worried what have you and and that's how you know you know like oh somebody pushed my buttons well they pushed your buttons because you got buttons it's not their fault there wouldn't be any uh thing happening if you didn't have buttons to push to begin with so so he's saying that's and this is ascension gotta let go of all that and and understand that your personality the identity that you think you are that's not you that's not you. So we are talking about opening up to love so that you can step into being your soul or, or, your, or your angel self too, which is your higher self. It's all connected. And, and then your life changes and then you can heal yourself. I will tell you when I learned how to channel the, the physical issues I had at the time, they disappeared. I had really bad allergies. They were gone. Like, overnight when I had my awakening, they were gone. I, I didn't have any nasal allergies for a long, long time. I mean, 
they did come back, but it was, gosh, it was maybe years later, like 10, 15 years later, quite a long time later. And, and, you know, the, a lot of things just were gone. And, and I know because my, my guide said to me, because I was, I was cleared out, like things just like cleared out, but of course you can accumulate stuff again. That's the thing. Just because you got clear one time doesn't mean it stays clear. You got to keep working on yourself. And I, I wasn't doing that long term and only more recently started to get back into that. So, so that's what we're doing in the academy is we're teaching you how to embody your soul, how to love yourself and others more, how to feel more love, how to be more alive. So these, these things we realize are rather nebulous. Like, like how do you describe that? That's why we, we're writing our book because we know, and Alan's saying, he's nodding his head. He says, if people read our story, they'll, they'll either, again, either resonate with it and say, there's something in this, in here calling me, or they'll just walk on by and that's fine. And so, so somehow the people who are really meant to join us in this journey of supernatural love will find their way there. This is not something where convince somebody of it. It's, it's not a big, this is not a big slick marketing campaign. You, you just, you just know because some of you will know by watching a video that like this and say, I don't know what completely what's going on here, but I feel called to this. Just like when I, I observed the Sean Randall channeling who I later studied with and I, I heard her channel and I, I didn't even pay attention to what the information was. I just, I was just riveted. I had something about the whole thing captured my attention and I knew I had to go learn it. But it wasn't like the channeling itself that she did was phenomenal. It was something else. So but that's how that's how our guidance works. That's how our higher self works. That's how your angels work. That's how the universe works. It just it's just starts speaking to you and letting you know what's for you and what's not for you, which is fine. So if it's not for you, this is great. We love you anyway. We're never gonna, you know, kick anybody out of here unless you get get difficult and you're causing problems for other people, but we welcome everybody here and Alan will continue to work with everyone here. I wanna make that clear because some people were questioning whether like where all of our attention is gonna go to the academy. I mean, I'll be honest and say more of our attention will go there. We'll go, we'll go live here in this group uh, once, once a week and in the other group, it'll be he, he, he plans two, maybe three times a week, and there'll be webinars. He's going to exhaust me. I can already tell. <laughs> but I can't complain because I feel energized and and uplifted and so happy, like on a high, that, that I can't stop. It's, it's like how it was when I started channeling, and I couldn't get enough. Because to connect with the higher realms, to connect with this love that he brings in, that's literally from heaven, you're going to get acclimated to heaven. I kid you not. And when I say, uh, I said in a post, I want to help you build your own bridge to heaven and you're, cause you're to live there. I live there now. I seriously, I, I, I can feel it, especially when I go to, to bed at night and I'm talking to Alan and we're in bed and I, I, I never want to get out of bed because it feels like heaven to me. And that we're just talking and I feel this, this energy, this love, this, this light. I mean, it's, it's incredible. And everyone should have this. Everybody can have this. This is the time for you to have this if you feel called to it, if you're ready for it. And he's saying, we can bring that to you. So that's what he wants to do in the academy. Again, forever's ready. What else do you want to say? <clears throat> oh, sorry, excuse me. He says he just wants to remind everybody that, again, that he's here for all of you, regardless if you're in the academy or not. Call on him. He's, he's not, he's not going to, he's not going to look at you and go, well, you're not in the Academy. <laughs> he, he doesn't care. He wants more people to call on him, the better because he or we get stronger and we can serve you better. This is how it works. It's like you're giving, you're helping us flex our muscle. And so we get stronger and we can help you get, do more or heal more or change your life in a way that you want to. So he's available 24 seven, seriously, he's available all the time. And he's very earnest about this work right now. And cause he just came back from vacation. 
that he was with me on vacation. I didn't have a vacation necessarily, but he says, yeah, you, you, you know, you just want to work. And that, that's true. Work uh, spiritually doing spiritual work. So, so that that's in a nutshell, I think we did pretty good in, in a nutshell, like where we're at and what, what's happening. He says his, okay, his archangel powers, okay, so his powers are, are kicking in more. And with the academy, that's it, it, going to be upped a lot more too, because yeah, because he says, because he's going to be called to do more, to deliver more to you in the academy. So you have that to look forward to if you're in there with us. And oh, by the way, today is the deadline. If you wanted to get a free book when our book is published, you you have to enroll by midnight tonight, Hawaii time. I think I might have posted somewhere Pacific time, but we're doing Hawaii time just to keep it simple because you guys get confused. Know that when I post times, it's always Hawaii time. It's always our time. Because that's why otherwise it get too confusing because we're in Hawaii. So, you know, it's going to have to be our time. If you're not sure what time that is, Google it. That's what Google is for. What time is it in, if I'm in Minnesota, what time is it in Hawaii? And go look it up. It's really easy, right? So, so it'll be midnight tonight. That's the deadline. You have to have enrolled. I will literally get up at midnight and check. <laughs> and whoever is like in there, you got it. You got the book. And don't worry if you miss it, you can still register for enroll in the academy it's just that you won't get the book okay and that, that's the only difference we still have the lifetime membership open it's actually it's actually going pretty quickly and and i'm kind of i'm grateful for the very grateful for those of you who did that i don't know when we're going to close the doors to that alan didn't want that to be open like unlimitedly so okay <laughs> but but it'll be open longer the deadline for enrollment in the academy completely, the, days, the day that we're going to close the doors completely for now is the, the Friday. So that's December 4th at, again, midnight Hawaii time. That's when we're shutting down our doors so that we can focus on everybody in there. And the next day, Saturday, we're <clears throat> having our first webinar. It's going to be a Zoom webinar for the academy members. It will be at 10 a.m. Hawaii time, and it will be recorded for anybody who can't make it. And you're going to be, have, we're going to welcome you. And Alan's got some surprises for you. And we're going to get going, going to get rolling here. In the meantime, those of you who are in Academy, we invite you to review all, not all, because you can't do all, but look at the, the healing webinars that are in there. I know some of you already have, and you've, you've commented to me about them. Awesome. We want to take your questions about those. So let's talk a little bit here about what's in the Academy. Although I have posted like screenshots, photos of it, and took a took you guys on a tour of it when we launched everything on Sunday, which is so, but I'll just, let me see if I can just share a few, but if you have questions about it, let us know. There's so much content in there. I can't, it's like hard to show all of, all of it to you. But hold on just a minute. Let me pull up my screen. Okay. Oops. Okay, hold on a minute. Whoop. Where did Hmm. All righty. Bear with me because I'm trying to find the screen. Okay, well, I'm just jumping to the sales page, I guess. We'll just we'll just start with there. <clears throat> and then I'll look at some of the courses. So this is the basic sales page. And that you'll find we will we'll, Maria will put the link in later, but it just describes what you're gonna find in there. Hold on a minute. And healing on demand for your heart and your soul, because you you'll have access to an app that you can get. You can just get the app on your phone. Like go to your app store, whether it's whether it's you have an iPhone or an Android, and get the application. But just by putting Kajabi, Kajabi, K-H-A-A-B-I, and you'll get an app <clears throat> that you can use on your phone. I'll show you mine in a minute. But that's all you have to do, and you you have all these webinars at your fingertips. So 
as you can see, I'm not going to go through all this. You can, we can read this in a minute. Remember the special bonus that Alan, it, you'll receive assistance from Alan 24 seven in a deeper way because you're in the academy. And we've been anywhere. We're going to teach handling so that you learn how to connect with him and your own team much more easily. In 2021, next year, we're going to really dive into the channeling training. There'll also be a Reiki certification, but that will be a little later. We really want to focus on the channeling first. And eventually there will be a course we're calling Supernatural Love Course, how to have a relationship with a loved one in heaven. So channeling, I would say, would be mainly to connect with guides and angels and a loved one in heaven, because channeling would definitely assist you in that in that uh, in that goal in that process but in the supernatural love course really going to help people to take that next step and make contact with their loved one in heaven first of all alan would determine whether the person's loved one in heaven is really available or wants to connect because it has to be a two-way agreement but he has the ability to do that like i've seen him in readings that he actually, I see him go and get the person in heaven. And he goes, okay, here I have, here, here I have Uncle Joe or whoever. And, and then we're talking to Uncle Joe. And so he, he goes and finds them or, or might say, oh, they're busy or they're not interested or something like that. Just talk about enroll before the doors close. And when you go into the academy, you'll notice that It'll say Soul Authority Academy. That's that is my my former academy, and we basically merge the two. So don't get confused. Just know you're in the right place as long as you say see Soul Authority or Supernatural Love. It's the same thing right now until we build our new platform for a new membership. That's why you see here Soul Authority Academy right there at the top. Yes, this is the pricing for those of you new on the call or watching later. So 197 is for a year. So each year to be a member, this is what you would pay. So just one fee. There's no other additional fees in the membership. Whatever's in the membership, the content, the classes, et cetera. Think of it mostly as ongoing support for your spiritual development and that there happen to be some core courses in there. But this is not like a place where you're going to have a gazillion courses because Alan's for, for us anyway, for what we're trying to do, Alan's saying that's, that's not, that's counterproductive. We're trying to focus everyone on opening up their heart and stepping into being their soul, living from that place and helping you clear what's in the way, not so much teaching you how to do things. It's really teaching you how to be or how to live and absolutely how to love because we know that will transform your life from the inside out rather than looking for tools on the outside. Tools are wonderful, uh, learning, let's like say how to do readings, card readings, that's fabulous. Like, please, please go do that. But this is not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on connecting you directly to the other side and helping you to live fully as who you really are. And all the other things like learning um, well, learning tarot or pendulum dowsing or angel card readings, all of that is great. That can just supplement, you know, what you're doing. But but we're actually going to the foundation of of who you are as a, as a human being, as a soul. Those those other things to us are incredible, but they're just tools. They're additional things. And if you haven't addressed your inner processes and and found it's figured out some sort of plan for how you're going to evolve, the, the tools are not going to take you that far. They could help you connect, certainly connect with your guides. And maybe in that way, you know, it could open you up, but you're still going to have to deal with the, whatever issues you have. So, so their annual is 197, monthly is 1997 a month. With monthly, of course, you pay monthly. And if you paid the first month, you don't get your money back for the first month. But if you want to cancel, you won't get charged anymore. You just cancel. You have a dashboard there in the membership and you're able to, to cancel right there. If you have trouble with that, just let us know. And my assistant will help you. But it's really easy to cancel. Yearly, of course, once you pay for the year, that's it. No refunds. But you can cancel next year if you don't want to continue. 
Founders lifetime membership is $7.97, one-time fee for lifetime access. You will get five autographed copies of Supernatural Love, and you'll get one Supernatural Love group session that we will arrange next year because we have to coordinate everybody's time. But, but both of them still get this, weekly healing and life coaching sessions. Oh, actually, there I put spiritual uh, on the – so it's the same thing. I was saying spiritual and life coaching for us is the same thing. You get access to the Soul Authority Academy, which has 60 plus video library of healings, attunements, activations, and there are classes in there too. There is a angel practitioner, intuitive, in, angel intuitive, excuse me, angel intuitive practitioner training in there that is 11 hours long plus long, and it has PDF files to go with it, the presentation files to go with it. And that I think is on a, is it might be being dripped out in content because it's kind of I think the bonus content is being dripped out, not being released for 30 days after you are a member. But it is going to be released. We just didn't want to inundate everybody with so much content. Because as one person told me who is a member, she said just having those attunements alone, she says was worth the membership. Even if she says, even if I didn't add anything else, she said she kept using it like every day to help her to deal with life and to just grow and to connect with her herself and her team. So she was happy with that, but you're going to get more than you're going to get all this and more because we're going to be continuing to, you know, add to what we're doing and you're going to get engagement. But this is Tracy, my friend who's a photographer. She opened up as a channel. Rosie, Rosie's in our group too. Rosie's been a student of mine with Reiki. Dana, she's in our group too. They're all from Soul Authority. That's why their comments are there. You can read that more at your leisure when you look at the sales page. I've had people go through, through this and through my Reiki and then opened up as uh, readers and healers. <clears throat> So who is it for? Rat Academy is for anyone interested in learning how to contact, get to their side. That's basically it. Whether it's your angels, your guides, or deceased loved ones, we're going to help you connect with them. I don't know why this is moving. <laughs> so you're going to get ongoing healing, guidance, and training to help you claim your gifts. We focus on opening your heart so you learn to trust your intuition. This is what I wrote regarding Soul Authority Academy. Now, I found it interesting because I didn't know this at the time, that of course I'm an archangel, so I'm I've always been interested in the soul, in connecting with the soul. That's what archangels do. They teach people and help people how to embody their soul. So I was already on that path before Alan passed, and I was guided to create these attunements after I learned Reiki and began teaching it. My guides told me to create these attunements. I had no idea what the attunements were. I didn't. I knew what a Reiki attunement was, but I didn't know what they were talking about, but they insisted that I create these attunements. And Alan has helped me understand that, I'm gonna come out of that, has helped me understand that that, that was the beginning of me, me really accepting my archangel self, starting to accept that because because I have the ability to do that. But I, I, I wouldn't, my, the human me didn't know that, it, but I always would follow my guides, guidance. So when I started teaching Reiki, they said, we want you to make these attunements. Literally in one week, I kid you not, I think I, made, I created most of the attunements that I started, I started offering it for purchase because they told me to do that, that it would help my students. So I don't remember how many I had, probably 11. 11 or 12 attunements, like right off the bat, they told me what to write, told me how to, <laughs> what to make them. <clears throat> um, and, and it was very simple, so simple. I just had a, a recorded, guided kind of a meditation of how to activate the attunement. And this was a generic one. So this activation was for every single attunement, even if one attunement was for prosperity and another one was for soul love and another one is third eye. It had the same meditative guide, uh, yeah, guidance to, to activate it. So, and I, again, I just did what they told me to do. So I do this 
do the do the attunements, put it out there, like had a different photo for each attunement, description for what it was. And my students just started to just buy them and give me feedback. And I'm doing this not so much to make a ton of money, because but but I did make money. I mean, and it astounded me. I think I made something like thirty five hundred dollars. It was crazy. I had, I don't know, I had 50, 60 purchases. It, it was pretty insane. But what was really interesting was the feedback because people started telling me that they would, they would they'd activate the attunement based on my, disc, my instruction and it could feel the energy go in or they'd feel the energy when they just bought the attunement. And then and certain people just had different experiences. And Alan said, because I didn't know this at the time, but because I was working with them, their spirit team, and, and that I am a guide. So I was already guiding like all my students without me consciously knowing it. And I was already working on them energetically. And so all I did was open them wider and their team came in and they're saying, yes, we will give them this solar prosperity attunement and, and clear some of their blocks for prosperity. And, and again, he's laughing saying, that it was just good that I just trusted and I just, okay, this is what they want me to do. I guess I'll do it. And so I learned from that. And from those attunements, then I was guided to start this academy and do attunements in webinars. So I would pass the attunement or, or also Ellen is saying, me just talking in the webinar started to activate people because I'm con when I'm teaching, I'm connected, I'm hooked in. Like right now, I'm hooked in with Alan and with source and I'm just channeling. So, so people started to say they were feeling things in the class. Some people would say they could keep their eyes open <laughs> because the energy is running and some people are responding differently based on what they need or what's going on. And I don't know, in my human me doesn't know like what is going on. I'm just trusting like, okay, I'm just told I'm supposed to do this. I'll do it because that was my uh, agreement and it's never gotten me in trouble before, and this is what I'm gonna do. So I just did that, and that's what the Soul Authority Academy. I started doing teaching webinars on Zoom like a couple of years ago, I think. I just got the message, okay, just, just teach. First it was free, and then it turned into the academy that I did, because I had to get practice, like doing webinars. And so now I love doing webinars, I love doing lives. Lives were not really my thing right off the bat, but now Alan loves them. And because he loves them, he just fills me with his enthusiasm and, and it's a joy. So, so he's saying that, <clears throat> that know that the attunements that are in Soul Authority that I did, that you'll see me um, talking and you'll notice that I look very different. Like, like I look younger now, cause I'm happier now. I wasn't as happy back then the energy is still high and Alan has added his energy into those webinars. So you will feel something different if you are already familiar with those webinars, because some of you are from the Soul Authority Academy. So you'll notice that they're different because he's different. And oh, and he says, and, and both of us have put our energy, our, our updated, upgraded energy into there. So, so it'll feel different, even though the image of me and me talking is the same, because the video is the same but the experience you'll have is going to be different. So Sandy says she feels the same way. Oh, I'm so glad. Beyond valuable. <clears throat> now, I know Jackie, I see your question about how are you supposed to know if we have been accepted in the Academy? So if anybody watching like Jackie was in the original Academy, you, you basically have to um, go through, um, just come, hold on a second. Okay, Alan says we're going to reach out to to you folks that are the lifetime members. We're going to, we're going to send you a link that you can just go because you can just get in there for free. The life these are the lifetime members who they they paid anywhere between five hundred six hundred dollars to join Soul Authority Academy and be lifetime members. So we'll we'll send you that link. Okay, I go check because I think it was supposed to have gone out, so maybe it didn't. But we'll get it out to you. No worries. You, you'll get. You'll get, you'll get in. We're not, we're not forgetting you guys. Anybody who's not a lifetime member from Soul Authority, the original group, 
you need to just subscribe again. And most people, I think, have been have been had their membership canceled from the original Soul Authority. But if you have if you have a question about it, just contact me directly or contact support at soulauthority.com. You'll get either me or my assistant. But Jackie will take care of you. So don't worry. Not, 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 not a lot going on in the Facebook group for the Academy just yet because we're still dealing with things here. But but you'll can get into the call on Saturday for sure. We'll, we'll get an email out to everybody in the, in the group. So any questions? A lot of, any questions or concerns? No? What did Ellen want to do? Oh, here you go. It says it should have went out. I got it the other day and it was signed up. It was easy to. Yeah, so you might want to check your spam folder. Might want to check promotions folder. It may not have shown up in your, your general inbox. <clears throat> But yeah, I thought I had I had pro, uh, written an email and sent out all that to you folks. But maybe it's a question about it. We'll, we'll we'll send another email and remind everybody. But again, if the email we send goes to your spam folder, you know we can't we can't reach you. So just just give a shout. Let us let us know. That's just unfortunately the way it is with email. So let me see. Okay, so Alan's saying that he he wants wants anyone who's on the fence about this to remember what, what I said earlier, that we don't want to give anybody an excuse not to join if you feel guided to join. So so let us know. You know, like reach out, like miss uh, send me an email or message me on Facebook. It's okay. Don't everybody message me. <laughs> Messenger can get a little like crazy. So uh so just know sometimes some of you do reach out to me on Messenger and I appreciate that. But Alan wants me to remind everybody with, with great love that he says, he says, please, if your request is for healing, give it to him because he has unlimited time. And, <clears throat> and understand as we grow this, that I may not be able to respond to everybody personally. I will try. He said, but he says, you know, I, I get to a point, I will get to a point, I don't know when, where I won't be able to respond personally. I just know that he, he's already told me he said, because I won't have time. There'll be too many people asking. And that does happen with teachers. They, they, you have to pull back. You can't, otherwise I'll be on messenger or email like 24 seven and won't be able to do anything else. But right now I can't, I'm here. Okay. So Allie, I see, I see you are watching and there's an angry face. Like what's going on? I can't believe Allie's angry. You must have hit the that that uh, emoji by accident. Do you have a question, Ali? I see. I see you're on, you're watching. It's so funny. I think that's cute. But if you really are angry, want to hear from you. Seriously, any of you, if you ever are upset about anything, we don't want you to go go sulking about it or or go walk away upset. Like, let us know. We're all about honoring our feelings. Your feelings, our feelings. Just keep it real. Tell us, tell us what's going on. Okay. So anyway, that is there anything else? He's Alan's saying he's done. He feels complete. We're, we'll be back tomorrow, same time at three o'clock, and we're gonna we're gonna show up every day until Friday. That Friday's the last day to to join the academy, and so we are thrilled that so many of you have joined already. Can't wait to get going with that. And really want to hear your feedback on what you think of the, the videos that you've already watched. And remember, don't get overwhelmed. Take things slowly. Ask Alan to help you, guide you as to what to, to try if you're not sure. You can't make a mistake in there. Start with the core content, if at all possible, and then branch out from there and just go slow. The membership calls, those were quite long and they're very diverse. So, so you could get overwhelmed with that too. So, so again, there's a lot to view in there. And a lot of them also, I want to say the attunements are meant to be watched repeatedly. This is the other thing. This is not some content. We just watch it once and you say, okay, I'm done. I know what that was about, or I took my notes. This is no, it's experiential. All right. I did this third eye attunement. 
I think I have to do that every night for a while. I knew somebody who did, I don't know if it was that one, maybe it was a crown chakra. So, I don't know, it was something, I don't remember what it was, but they did that one like every day for months and months or maybe a year and, and had major change happening. You know, they just watched it for a little. In fact, you can have these playing like on your phone. I forgot to show you on my phone. You can have it playing in the background and have the energy being in your space, filling your space. So, so that's a really cool thing that you can. So here's, here's the app that you can get through your app store, whether you're, whether you are on iOS or Android and you have everything in your pocket, but yeah, you could have a video playing or the audio playing or what have you. And, and, and have the energy there. In fact, I've told people to do that. So, okay, let's say that one. I hope it doesn't play. So this one is I'm grounded webinar. Oops, can you see that? Okay, so if so that if you were having problems being grounded, you could run this one and have it just playing softly so it's not disturbing you and, and feeling the energy of that attunement filling your space, influencing you. That's the cool thing about technology. So these, these tools, the, the healings we're doing can merge with the technology and you can have this around you like all the time, okay? Oh, um, hold on. Oh uh, yeah, I, hold on, Ellie. Oh, your two-year-old was grabbing the phone. Okay, <laughs> no, that's okay. I just thought it was funny because I knew you wouldn't be angry. But there's a there's a little angry uh, face emoji up there. <laughs> It's kind of cute. Alan's like laughing. He thinks that's a cute one. He says, I didn't know they had those. <laughs> that you could hit an emoji that, that had an angry face. If he, if he knew that, he probably would have done that himself. <laughs> Just to be a pain. So, yeah. So I was talking about you, Ali, to Molly. <laughs> so don't worry about it. It was just funny. Okay, so Chris is asking, what's Kajabi? <clears throat> Kajabi is... The platform that our membership is built on okay this is the platform so they were like a web builder so so this, it's on kajabi so if you want the app that i'm showing you here just go actually if you go to the library page of your account that has the the soul authority on there you'll see at the top you'll say there says a little thing that says about the app if you don't see it or for some reason you can't find that just go to your app store I know Android sells apps, both both phones, they sell apps, and just put in the words Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I, Kajabi, and they'll pull up. I told I told a few people that and they found it really easy. You'll you'll just get the app and download it and you'll be able to have sole authority on there, set up your account. Okay. Just let us know if you have questions about that. So easy. I have I have a whole bunch of other classes from other teachers on there, but all the content is here can see that. Oh, let me hide that. <clears throat> see, so, oops, <laughs> sorry, got the wrong page. So all the content is there. And you can just scroll it. Oops, let me see if I do that. So healing distortions comes up, which is, and you can watch the video. There should be also an audio in there, so you could download the audio if you rather hear it rather than watch it. Or you can go to another, hold on, let me just. Okay, okay, this is one everybody should watch who's in the Academy. <clears throat> Shining Star Attunement, also known as Clearing the Pattern of Hiding. Oops, <laughs> let me stick. There, this one, because all of you are hiding, Ellen's saying. I was hiding too, <laughs> meaning that you you are hiding from your, your greatness, your divinity. You're hiding yourself because it's safer to be invisible. So if you feel that you are introverted, which most people identify as being introverted, you could benefit from that attunement. It helps clear the blockages that, that we have 
a lot of it we've inherited from our ancestors who at some point in time had to go into hiding to avoid persecution or annihilation or both. And we've all been there with our ancestors. So everyone has the pattern of hiding. Well, it's, this is my name for it. <clears throat> and it's one reason why people feel it's safer to be invisible or to hide or be in the back of the class instead of the front of the class and, and don't feel comfortable being seen, being visible. But if you don't do that, you're not alive. Of course, if you're hiding because you're afraid you're gonna be killed, well, you're not living because you're just trying to survive. So if you're hiding, you're in survival mode basically. And that's not gonna work very well for you. You're not gonna have a very enjoyable life. You might have a safe life, but that's kind of it. It'll be safe. And one thing Alan is really, I don't wanna say he gets fired up about is, is that so many people here in the physical world are seeking safety and comfort rather than living fully and, and having a, an amazing life. So he says, if you get over that, your fear that you're gonna be annihilated or ridiculed or hurt or something, then, then you can live like completely and, and instead of waiting to die and then live, cause that's what he had to do, like most people do. They can't live until they get to heaven because they're so busy just surviving and just playing it safe and, and keeping to the rules or all that. And he says, you know, that's not how we're meant to live. So he is wanting to help people break out of that. Okay. So does that make, that make sense? So yes. So if you're in the academy, go look for that one and be prepared. Cause Alan is going to say, he's going to be working with you through that attunement. Some of you, you might get your butts kicked. What he means by that is some of you, you really need to get over that fear. So you're going to start releasing it. Don't worry, it'll be gentle. And because you're in an academy, you have support. So if you're finding it difficult, you just you just shout out like, hey, I'm doing that, that attunement, Pam, you told me to do. And it is kicking my butt, like help. We, and he'll help you anyway. You don't have to come and post in the group. You just tell him, Alan, I need help with this. This is, this is hard. He'll come in and help you. Or, or we will both come in and help you in the academy. So all, all of that, I'm, I'm actually I'm really excited because I was kind of sad thinking that I was going to leave Soul Authority Academy, just all that content there that so many people told me changed their life. And I thought, well, what am I going to do with it? And Alan goes, why are you not using it? We can use it as, as supernatural love. People need that to open their hearts so that they can be the love that they are. I said, well, of course, why didn't I think of that? And again, he's just rolling his eyes at me like, why? Why didn't you think of that, Pam? So... So it's all there. That that would take you, like I said, that that could take you a long time to consume all that content and then to rewatch it. You'll be busy for years and years. So, but take your time with it. You don't need everything that's in the academy in in the Soul Authority video section. You don't need all of it, but whatever you do need is right there when you do need it. Okay. So, all right, we've gone on long enough. So unless there's any questions, we really want to thank you for joining us. Come back tomorrow. What is he? What? I think Alan might want to do mini readings again. We'll let you know when we. I'll post. I'll post the thing tomorrow morning. You know the, the Streamyard invitation about what we're going to do. He's saying he'd like to do some readings. He really he really misses doing readings. So we'll probably do some readings. So join us for that. And if you have any questions, you know where to find us. Post it here. And if and remember to midnight tonight, if you want to get our book, just sign up for uh, something. <laughs> he says something. There's only three things. Okay. All right. So take care. We love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow if you join us tomorrow. And if not, we'll see you whenever we see you. Right? Bye. Have a great evening or whatever you're doing to, tomorrow, today, to, this morning, afternoon, whatever you're watching it. Lots of love from both of us to you. Bye-bye.